Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 14th of August 2023. So on Friday, bonds big tech battered as inflation fears uh, Trump payrolls hope. So inflation's back again. Rate uh, change expectations shifted hawkishly on the week, erasing the dovish post payroll shift from uh, the previous week. Uh, bond uh, sell-off accelerates after hot to US PPI. But the market didn't do a lot after this, which we'll look at in just a moment. Economic news, nothing for today. And uh, then we've just got some UK tomorrow claimant counts. That's out at 7 a.m. Core retail sales and uh, from the US, Empire State included in that. CPI on Wednesday for the UK. And uh, FOMC meeting minutes out on Wednesday evening, but no interest rate uh, news on that one so just the minutes from last month and unemployment claims on Thursday so a fairly quiet week news wise apart from the UK CPI on uh, Wednesday as far as inflation renews is concerned. Uh, US dollar uh, continues to move to the upside putting pressure on the metals so we'll look at that in more detail shortly but uh, you can see that the dollar has moved up uh, nicely over the last few weeks. Uh, probably a lot more on the upside to go with that as well if they're going back to the hawkish tone in uh, the uh, news uh, business news there. Okay, let's move on, have a look at the Dow and work our way through to the metals. So in the Dow, you can see uh, Friday, the market really quiet. We've got into a bit of a sideways range, haven't we, at the moment? It's classic uh, summer trading there you can see uh, sideways a bit of volatility overnight particularly in the DAX uh, but the Dow uh, sideways there markets reaction on Friday uh, to the news then sideways uh, as you can see there then we broke out to the upside over overnight and then we've sold off quite sharply but heading back uh, to the DP there as there's no economic news today the market's free to move back to the upside in the German DAX, similar picture, market uh, sideways as well, stuck in that uh, range there, which you can see just popping out either side of it and trying to do that now on the overnight. But coming back to the 78% retracement drawn from there to there. And in the 30 minute chart, uh, Friday, you can see it was very quiet. We broke to the downside, we then traded sideways again, and eventually we broke down. But look at the afternoon, it was just dire. That's a 30 minute chart. That is how quiet it was uh, on Friday. Market sideways overnight, but we've had a shakeout, and I don't know what's behind this. But we've had a 100-point move, over a 100-point move already as the market uh, attempts to come back to the low and uh, the close and uh, the DP, which I suspect will try and hold as much as possible. Five-minute chart for Friday. Well, like I say, we started off sideways all the way through for the first hour before the market broke. That's unusual. Sideways again before we moved up and a bit of a pullback. And then uh, down she came during the mid morning. And then after that, well, it was just pretty dire as you can see through the afternoon there, just uh, stuck in a range. It was a bit of a move to the upside as uh, on the uh, overnight initially, which we'll see in a moment. But look how quiet uh, it became. It just uh, narrowed all the way through there. And the same uh, on that side, just narrowed all the way through with nobody really trading. But the first two weeks of August tends to see uh, bankers have those two weeks off as uh, the schools break up and take the children off to some exotic location. And they'll be all back today, which may be playing catch up with this move that we've seen on the overnight. But heading to the low already, uh, up at least uh, 40 points uh, off the lows. So good, nice bit of volatility. Let's just hope it continues um, overnight. Uh, sorry, <laughs> overnight during uh, today's uh, trading session there. And in the S&P 500, uh, you can see that uh, also back at uh, the 50 EMA and the 30 minute chart, not pretty either. But again, that decline overnight, which you can see there heading back towards the DP and close as well. So it's going to be an interesting day to see if uh, they bring these markets back. Uh, the FTSE 100 also uh, sideways to lower. You can see that uh, we're sitting on the 62% retracement at the moment. We failed to break out after we had the uh, ascending triangle shape. It uh, then came straight back in, so weakness around there. 30 minute chart, so uh, you can see that uh, we've moved lower. We then tried to move back up and then overnight uh, we've moved down about 45 points, 46 points. 
uh, to the low where the market's found support. So no doubt. So we're going to try and move the market back to the upside. And finally, in the metals, uh, silver sitting at the 89% retracement. We're going down to 22 and lower, uh, especially if we start talking about inflationary things again. They're going to send this down. It's doing the opposite of what it should do. Um, the dollar obviously rising on the on the prospect of further rate increases, but uh, the, the metals market still being uh, manipulated to the downside. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we don't go down to $20. Uh, to be honest with you, just to make sure that we have the final shake out to the downside before they allow it uh, to move higher and take uh, the suppression of this price of this particular market um, off because uh, it's just insane. It's uh, I know I sound like a broken record, but to see how cheap this is, the only thing that's not gone up in 40 years, uh, it just doesn't make any sense unless you look uh, behind uh, the curtain of why they're suppressing it, of course. Uh, gold also uh, the same so just go back to sorry uh, finish off with silver sitting at the lows trying to make its way back but it'll get hammered at lunchtime as it always does when uh, the, the lbma set the price uh, gold also moving lower expect this to come down to these lows as well and uh, there you can see choppy session for gold as well still being uh, put under pressure to uh, get back down to those lows and lower uh, keep it well below two thousand dollars which it is nineteen hundred dollars is going to be uh, the key for this uh, market and finally let's have a quick look at the gold silver ratio and uh, you can see they're still moving up lots of green and uh, expect more of this uh, going forward up to at least 90 i would have thought and uh, beyond um yeah around the 90 so where we are 89 89 level wouldn't surprise me uh, with this is bound to break out uh, above these two previous highs but uh, we'll have to wait and see that's the way the game's being played at the moment okay that will do it for this one let's see what uh, the market gets up today and hopefully uh, that volatility that we see overnight will actually uh, transfer to the cash market at 8am okay that's it uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next